At this point, I'm going to take a very quick look at the mining deck because I know there's at least one Master Override chest or door in that area. And that's very close nearby. But after that, I'll be heading back to the bridge and then it's on to the crew deck. And hopefully the Hunter is still not around here. Hopefully I've distracted it by going into hydroponics. Yep, there's a door right there. Is there anything else interesting around here? There's a security level 3, but I think I've been in that one. Yep, that was the room where we had to switch on gravity. I've definitely been in that room. Been in there. That's the room outside the... Where we eventually got a quarantine. Eventually. I think it's just that one door, so... Let's quickly check it out. And hopefully we won't get attacked. God damn it. That's the hunter, isn't it? No. Wrong limbs. Things very strong in the legs. Let me see if I can get a reload out of this. Okay, I think these were the dudes that I ran away from earlier. Just standard dudes, but dudes nonetheless. Right, what we got? Eighteen hundred credits. Contact NG. More med packs, which we desperately need. Although I've got a few now. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade the cutter's capacity in a sec. If I don't have the nodes, I'll purchase one. What is it? Oh, that's for the cutter. No, can't be for the cutter. What is that? Either way, it's another node. Alright, I think there's a bench in here. There is. Alright. Cutter capacity, please. Yeah, I'm not sold on the line gun. I'm just not. Contact beam. Secondary fires projectile, that's useful. Oh, oh. Both of those are very useful. Let me just reload the force gun. Because I was waffling on about that earlier. Do some shopping and then we'll head to the crew deck. Alright, I think that'll do us. I suspect the last suit may cost 100,000, which leaves us about 40,000 in reserve right now. But until I know for sure, I don't want to spend my money just yet. I could sell a lot of this stasis though and all of these oxygens to get some money back. Alright. I'm heading to the crew deck. I'll meet you there unless anything interesting happens. Alright, back at the bridge. I've put this off long enough. Dude. 
Jesus, I was not expecting that. I broke into song accidentally. I apologize. Alright, I am going to heal using my medkits that I've got, which is going to take me down to um, one small and two medium. Or maybe just one small and one medium. Dude! And maybe even less now. God damn. I was not expecting these assholes to respawn. Alright. We are heading along the tramway, which seems highly unsafe. Well, you know what? We're below it. We're below the tram line here. But even so, this seems most unsafe. Head this way and see if we can find out what Hammond actually saw at the crew deck. It's a crew deck tram station. Plenty of flamethrower ammo now, that's great. Isaac, I'm losing you. Something on the crew deck must be interfering with the signal. I can guess what that something is. If the marker's active, shit. The crew deck is locked down, but the deck supervisor might have an override key. The last location I have for her is the gym. How long will it take to install the singularity core on that shuttle? Not long, if no one tries to stop me. Hurry! We can't leave the marker in their hands. Objective blocked. We need to find the crew deck key. We're heading to the gym. I don't suppose we're going to play some basketball at the gym, perhaps? Daniel says the crew deck is locked down, but there should be a key in the gym nearby. The tram is not locked down, at least. Damn, the bridge is literally just there. Open world and all that, but the Ishimura is actually quite small. It's just a series of twisty little corridors, all alike. Alright, is it here? So what is with the music right now? Alright, I do not see a very expensive statue around here. To the crew deck. To the common area. Well, that looks perfectly normal. You know, when I briefly attended university, people wondered why I didn't hang around in the common room. Yeah, they've got the bags around their heads, so we can't see what they're doing. Okay, this remix isn't too bad. They've all got a little blood stain on them, so... Maybe what they did is they tried to suffocate themselves. Maybe someone shot them in the head to finish the job. Either way, um, you know the drill, ladies and gentlemen. I have your best interests at heart. I agree, Isaac. Fuck indeed. And if you assume the infection vector is through the head, then separating the head from the body is a very, very good idea.
Blood of Medusa, Dark Field, Beyond Metal Fest, on Titan Station. There's going to be some cute references in here, surely. Who is singing? I'm trying not to smash the lights, but I'm not having much joy. But I could also just do this, couldn't I? Oh. Jesus. Alright, what have we here? That is the crew deck keycard. If I remember correctly, that's going to take us to an elevator. Alright, so now that I've stomped off... Fuck, how many people died here? That's about ten. Possibly more. What does that say? Something infidels. It's time, infidels. Really, I think Isaac coming in here and doing this really explains how he ended up where he ended up at the beginning of Dead Space 2. It only makes sense, really. But yeah, I don't want any infectors in here later on to infect these dudes. Man, look at this place. Uh, you okay there? Alright, I'm going to get out of here before I accidentally damage any more lights. I don't even recognize what verse is being sung right now. Alright, to the Zero G Gym, Z Ball tournament signups available at Nexus something. We're playing basketball, aren't we? We're playing basketball, aren't we? I mean, I know we are. I've seen the trophy, um, the list of trophies. Locker room and showers. Caution, water purification offline. Low water pressure. People just casually keeping ammunition like that in their lockers. Because of course they do. Oh. We're going back for that immediately. Okay, so both, um, both corridors lead to the same place. Fuck, do I have to stomp these dudes? I was expecting it at some point, and it still caught me off guard. Low water pressure? Yeah, the water's going to come on. It still caught me off guard. God damn it, game. God damn it. I'm terrified we're going to have to come back through here, and those dudes are going to get infected. Hello. Anything else? Read that on the way back. Z-Ball rules. Use the Kinesis module to grab the ball and shoot it into the rings before the timer runs out. Beating each level yields a reward that can be claimed from the lockers. When the sensor of a ring lights up, target that ring for a score multiplier. Play ball! I remember this thing. It's a pain. It's not really a pain. It's just tedious. Right, where was that store? 
How much is it? How much? 100? 60. 30 slots, 20% armor. I think that's the last suit. I really do. It's the last one until we get to New Game Plus. Apart from some slightly more chunk downstairs, it looks pretty much the same. Like the helmet's very similar. Don't know if that's just me though. Yeah, we're looking good. We are looking good. But I'm going to drop some of this stasis because we don't need it. I think I will grab one of those as well. Yeah, if it's the last suit, I can probably start spending some money. Nexus Reception. Where is that? Uh, can't get through there because we need something there. Yeah, we're going to have to actually go into the play area. We have to anyway because we need to get inside these lockers. All six of them. That's right. In the original, you had to jump to platforms which were all over the place, and then you would shoot the ball. But it looks like um, the mechanics of this will change because zero gravity works completely differently in the remake. Grab the floating balls and throw them into high scoring holes. Uh, we have enemies in here. I hear them. You know what? This can wipe. Audience is being unruly. Where's the other one? Hey, you. Another one? Where is it? Right, so if it's the same as the original, those guys are only going to spawn once. So at this point, we should be able to play some basketball in peace. I also see the um, battery up there, which we're going to have to take out of here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not you. Not yet, anyway. Might I actually not make this? God damn it. No, that's it. Done. Damn. I've got to say, that is not terribly engaging. And I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong by not waiting for the ring to light up before I shoot. It sort of seems like I have to be constantly shooting to try and get there. Yeah, I don't know if this is an improvement over the original. And I'll be blunt, so I didn't like the original very much. Alright, we'll give this another go. I will see you when I get to level 6. Damn it. See if we can crack 300, but I don't think we'll get there. Perfect timing. Dutch van der Linders. Thank you for the follow, and they note that Isaac is a pro Z-ball player. Well, I mean, we had that massive log at the start of the game where it listed all of Isaac's exploits, him being an engineer and what happened to his family and whatnot. It did not list Z-ball player there. So that's clearly something Isaac has been doing in his off time, and no one knows about until right now. But yeah, the trick to that is that the time carries over in between rounds, so you have to not screw around in the early rounds, and you'll have plenty of time at the end. Right, what have we got? No. Yes. 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 Hell yes. Hell yes. The Ruby Semiconductor is actually worth more, but whatever. Back to the real game. Uh, this looks like an infected area waiting to happen. That looks distinctly like a creaky card. Anything else in here? Alright, let's grab and see what we're in for. Quarantine?
Nothing? No, come on. I'm not going to pass through the locker room. That's asking for trouble. Hey. Jesus. Didn't want to stomp it. Of course. Yep, there we go. I knew it. Two of them. Two of them. Now, I'm not sure if they bum-rushed me because I'd taken out everyone else. I suspect that may be the case. If I hadn't taken out everyone else, they would have started infecting people and it would have led to much unhappiness. Let's sell that. Move that. I'd love to get a capacity upgrade on the plasma cutter. Um... You know what? Why not? Let's start using them. Let's just start using them. I've got the spice. Logging security card. We can now investigate Mercer's quarters as well. Uh, once I install it, yep, we've seen that one. Yep, we're seeing that one as well. Being told to go down to level, level 1. I think we'll oblige. Central Nexus. This is different. Mercer! Still alive, Mr. Clark. I'm still denied convergence thanks to this ingrate. Mercer, wait. Tell me. I want to understand. What is convergence? But you already know. Dead or living, we all feel the markers to the purpose. Don't you want to be reunited? With the people you lost. Not like this. I... Yes. And why not it me? Mr. Temple has fused. But we are so close. Everything that has happened on the Shamora is just the beginning. When you put it that way, you and your marker can go to hell. It's on the right there. Look at it. And a really cool death. What was he trying to build? Alright, so we have an objective of escape the hunter. Anything useful around here? Yes. No, that's not useful. Now get me wrong, I'm glad I've got it, but it's not that useful right now. Oh, come on. That's it. That's the marker. And look at that, look at that graphics effect. 
We get close to it and Isaac sort of freaks out a bit. What the hell? Is the marker doing that? Alright, looks like we're just going out the door to our left there. Right about here. No, these are lockers. Shit. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Just knock you on your ass again. That's interesting. He's slowing down when he's near the marker. Loader controls. He's slowing down a lot when he's near the marker. Okay, that's different. Uh, what am I doing? Let's just use that thing. Wait, this way? Through... Oh, okay. Okay, I see. I see. I have no stasis. Right, so there are a couple of things here we have to shoot. Question is, where are they? There's one there. Is that the only one? Yes, it is. God damn, that took me way too long to figure out. To the mess hall. Halibut with sweet potato fries. I don't want to know. Ah. Uh, is yeah, so this a drag tentacle corridor? If it is, I need to reload the cutter. Oh, shit. Yeah, I went back and watched and I could clearly see that we did not hear Isaac's voice on the log. That wasn't a hallucination or something. That was Nicole playing the log for Kine. But no, Isaac's hearing other people now. Other people who are very, very dead. But you're on it, right, Isaac? Everything's going to be just like it was. What the fuck? Alright, note to self, I'm going to decode that later, and translate that, um, and overlay the objective in plain text. We have seen a couple of um, translations around the place, but I have no idea how to read that right now. It looks like it's just one word repeating itself, or one phrase. I mean, the obvious one would be make us whole, take a shot, but I don't know if that's it. So in the original, this is where we saw Temple and Cross die. That's not happening here. There's a corpse talking to us. Where was that corpse? That corpse was talking just like Nicole. Isaac. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. Alright, I need to reload the cutter. Don't have a choice. Let's switch to the flamethrower for a bit.
These tendrils are blocking the way through the crew deck. I think I can destroy one of them from the standard quarters. Mercer's been experimenting on the marker. Everyone here has... They're dead. I have to focus on reaching the shuttle. What was that objective? I mean, I've translated it now and I've put it in plain text, um, so... Yeah. I know what it is by the time we're watching this, but right now playing this, I don't know what it is. Shit! Two of them. This is death. No, reload, reload. I'm kind of shocked that I survived that. I had to reload the force gun to do it. If those things grab you, it is over. still trying to get through to me. I hear it, but I don't see it. Ten thousand credits. I hear someone crying out in pain, but I just can't see him. And now is where I wish I hadn't reloaded the plasma cutter, but whatever. Sounds like it's coming to my left. What do we even unlock? Was it just this section here? Stasis energy. Stasis duration. I'm not convinced I need any of this to be blunt. We're at flamethrower capacity, please. Let's grab that. Actually, let's grab those. I can always buy more nodes later. Speaking of... Right, let's burn some of that first aid. Sell you. We are loaded on contact beam ammo, holy shit. That will do. Let's head to the standard quarters where apparently we can clear out some of these tendrils. I heard you. Sounds like there's another one, possibly behind me. No? And now we can hear Dr. Mercer waffling on. Let's make a save and go inside. Remember this. Do not alter the very brick of transcendence. Patient Isaac. Symptoms Mania.
That's very different, and I wish I'd heard a little bit more. Maybe we'll see something different in New Game Plus. In the original, it was just a recording that was on loop, and Mercer sort of appealed to everyone, saying, Hey, um, this is going to be great. We're all going to ascend, transcend, whatever. And then everyone ran away. And he was saying, come back, come back. And then it looped. Oh, I can get through there, okay. In fact, the game is asking me to go through there. Even better. Uh, wait a minute. If I remember correctly, there's a drag tentacle corridor somewhere around here. Okay, we need a battery to proceed this way. Stasis, so we're likely going to have a battle in here later on. All this shit. Do I have to stay, take a step forward? Really? Just like the control sensor in hydroponics, I hear it, but I don't see it. You are not what I'm looking for, but I'm going to take you out regardless. I don't know if that's what I could hear though, if I can actually hear one of the wheezes around here. Alright, I'm just gonna get my oxygen back. Hopefully we'll actually get it back if we go out here. Good. No, that's not you. Should have read that objective, but it's fine. Oh god. It's the hunter. I recognize you now. We have O2. We have another door leading out of here. We have two doors leading out of here. Storage room and mess hall. Uh, this is the battery. So, wait, we're going to grab that bass. I was ex expecting that, but not quite that quickly. Right, where does this lead? Same area, right. And, as suspected... We have dickheads in here now. Uh, Isaac, move please. It's like Isaac's caught in the stasis that he fired. Alright, are we good? I don't think we are, but... Alright, 
three pickups, so I think we're good. Yeah, that door opened up. So I should really have a look at this, shouldn't I? Uh, one is coming out of the deluxe quarters. Yeah, we read both of those. The only wording that's changed is the deluxe quarters versus the standard quarters. So this is where the rich passengers live. He clearly forgot his ID card. You, however, are a problem. Alright, where are we? Where are we exactly? Oh, okay, so that was just a shortcut. That got us through this door here, which was powered down earlier. Have I missed anything downstairs? Came down there, that was the low that's the lower area of the room on my left. With the um the store and the bench. Went into the corridor. That's where we just had the huge battle. That's the poison room. Genuinely don't recall if I went in there or not. I assume that's where I blew up the tentacle. And I didn't see anything unusual in there. That's the storage room, that's where I got the cell. We went around this way. What was stopping us from just coming out this way? Rather than having to lug that cell around. I'm not sure. Either way though, it is now telling us to go back to... All the way back to the start of the level. Game, please. Alright, well the marker is still here. The common area, that's where we came in. Is the hunter going to attack us if we get close to it? And where can we go from here? That takes us to the executive shuttle bay. God, this is such a huge change. I imagine we're going to have to clear some tendrils here and then come back. Hello. Alright, it's telling us to go up. Or down. And that is also the executive shuttle bay. I remember what we have to do in there. Okay, the Lux Quarters on the left. Store on our right. I don't see anything I can shoot. I can hear you, but I don't know if you're real or not anymore. Quarantine. Jesus! Come on. 
Got it. Uh, nothing a full clip of contact beam ammo and a secondary fire can't solve. I really need to upgrade that secondary fire though. Alright, so we have two power doors here which look like they're connected to a circuit breaker. Which might be behind that thing. I think we're going to be hearing another recording from Mercer very shortly, just quietly. Are you the hunter? No. Who's laughing? I can't hear, but I know you're laughing. Don't ask me how I know that. Uh, where am I going? Just into one of these doors and hoping for the best. No music or loud noises after 8 o'clock. Can I help you, ma'am? Can I help you? Are you feeling okay? You're gonna tell me about how a black security dude, a Right, I'm sure she was going to tell us about a joke about how a black security dude, a female computer scientist, and an engineer walk into a talent agency. And I'll let you decide how it ends. Damn, hardcore. So we have a battery in here, but I don't know where to plug it. Damn, if these were really the deluxe suites or sleeping cells or whatever you want to call them, the standard ones must have really sucked. Definitely not somewhere where I'd like to sleep, just saying. Okay, it looks like it might... It goes into there, clearly. She's using about half a clip of my plasma ammo. And yeah, my aim's not the greatest, but that's still not insignificant. Alright, let's turn on the power. switch on the lights for a sec so I can see what the hell I'm looking at. I see you and I don't like you. Just saying. Anyone else? Alright. So the door to our right is was initially locked and it is still locked by way of this tentacle. We're being told to go Nowhere in particular. Just explore. Alright. I can work with that. Honestly, this bathroom is great. I could think of uh, much worse places to hang yourself.
So I've not been in the door on my left, correct? Correct. And there's something ahead of me. Side objective. Shift. How are you? I, um. My mother, she's, um. Octavia? How's she doing? How's she doing? She's dead, Nicole. They both are. She killed my dad and herself. Oh. Yeah. The church. Hey, um. Uh, took the bodies before I could up. Oh my god. Oh Isaac, I'm so sorry. Fucking oh, told you stop washing. Stop it. Just stop talking. You said she was herself again. You said she would be better at home. Trusted you. God. You might as well have killed them yourself. She was better. You told me to leave for the Ishimura. You, you pushed me to. You know what? Go to hell, Isaac. Nicole. Nicole! Nicole! I didn't. Oh, God. No. Not her, too. It's me. I wish I could talk to you. She wanted to talk. I didn't. I'm sorry. I can make it right. I'm sorry. I can save us both. About everything. I don't believe that she would have said go to hell. I mean. Isaac being, I assume firstly that that log was real and that that was a conversation that happened or at least some of that was a conversation that happened and that it's not being made up in Isaac's head right now. Isaac obviously was very upset and um, told Nicole, hey, it's basically your fault and they're dead. However, I don't believe Nicole would have responded by saying go to hell. That feels like it might be the Marcus influence. That's what I think, anyway. Because, you know, people get upset when they lose loved ones, and they say things that obviously... that obviously they regret saying afterwards. And Isaac, I'm sure, regretted what he said. Like, you practically killed it yourself. That's clearly the wrong thing to say, but when you're rational and upset, you do irrational and stupid things. And that was a stupid thing. But the thing is, if you're talking to someone, you know, who's just lost someone... I would think that someone in a position of Nicole's authority, with her background and whatnot, she would understand what's going on. She wouldn't tell Isaac to go to hell. She would just walk away or say, it's okay, Isaac, it's okay. I'll just leave you be for a bit. She wouldn't cut off the conversation and say, go to hell. I think that's what Mark is doing right now. I mean, dude just lost his parents, for Christ's sakes. Again, assuming that conversation is actually on the record. I'm not making terribly much sense right now. Uh, we have a force gun upgrade. I need to check that thing out immediately. What have we got? Log retrieved. Mercer? Is it recording? Can't miss anything. Cruelty. He was deciphering how the marker's signal affects the brain and that. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Dr. Brennan. Let me guess. Terence Kine let you in. Shame he's not here. He didn't understand how this tragedy represents a chance. 
cure death. Go on. These creatures. Reanimated tissue, cellular immortality. I, I know we've never seen eye to eye, but I understand now. There's so many I should have saved. So you came to me? Because you've learned how to communicate with the marker. I'm so close. I, I thought it must have the secrets that I need. He's not buying it. He is not buying it. These are your autopsy notes. Very thorough. <laughs> You'll need them peer reviewed, of course. And poor Terence isn't here to help you. Yes. There's only one man I trust now. Friendship ended with Terence. Now Chalice is my best friend. Okay, so she's sneaking the clipboard out. And useful for Mr. Harris's next surgery. No related freak activity has been logged. That's it. So I really do question if um can we move one of those perhaps? Um if Nicole was really responsible for what happened to Brands, or partially responsible, or when this is just Mercer being, being an effort, the tendrils out here, really? Uh, no, it could be anywhere here, couldn't it? White bunks. Let's head to the shift bunks. We're just coming out of the consultants suites and we also got to check out these as well but I think they're currently blocked yeah Isaac there is no saving this relationship just give it up Right, so the two doors are... They're on my left, okay. The fuck was that? I'm not sure if that dude was creating all that noise a moment ago, but it would make sense. Nope, someone else. Right, shift bunks. Anyone? How is that even physically possible? I mean, first thought is that someone was playing 10 pin bowling, but if you can decapitate or sever legs like that. Oh my god. What, what the fuck? I assume it is very hard to stand legs up like that. Unless they're, you know, wearing a, a boot or something. I mean, standing feet up like that, I've never tried it. And I dare say that you and Chad have probably never tried it as well. But if you've got a selection of severed legs at home, and you try standing them up like that, I'm pretty sure it won't work. They'll just flop over. Uh, gold semiconductor. I don't see any tendrils here. Shit, is that all that's in here? Just a gold semiconductor and nothing more. And a whole bunch of legs standing up. I think that's all that's in here. No, not that. Okay, those two doors are unlocked now. The diamond was around here, but... I don't see anything I can shoot, so I assume that the tendril is in here.
It's not. Alright, uh, what does that say? To join us is five. Ooh. Security card. Give me upgrade. Nice. Very nice. Uh... It looks like there's something beyond there. Or maybe I'm just seeing things. It's just that in the original there was definitely a shelf that you could move. And I haven't found it just yet. Assuming, of course, that it exists in the remake. Alright, where is this thing that I'm shooting? It's in here somewhere. I see a great mass here, but I don't see the point that I have to shoot. There we go. Well, that's surprisingly well hidden. Answer again. And something behind me. Oh god, it's a stasis dude. And I think there's another one right there. You know what? If it's right with you lot, I'm just going to run. Are you guys cool with that? I don't think there's anything else of value in there, so as much as I can go in there and tear them apart, I don't want to because I think that's just wasting ammo. Alright, there is a door up there, but we can't reach it yet. So instead, we are heading to the executive quarters. Same thing. What are you, Log? My friends, is this what you hoped for when you signed your lives away to the church? Does this carnage look like transcendence? I don't know what lies beyond death. Not anymore. But I do know our lives are more than just fuel for convergence. If we work together, we can fight this evil. It's not too late. Please. Listen to him, he speaks wisdom. Well, this is creepy as hell. Oh, they've redone this room pretty well. Captain Benjamin of the Pies. What's that about? Religious observance? No visitors, religious observance. Yeah, I think he well and truly lost it towards the end, eh? Sex log. To Captain Benjamin Mathias from Unidentified Sender. Subject, confidential, fleet position confirmed. To Captain Benjamin Mathias, referencing our pre-departure discussion, I am blessed to report that the Vested have authorized a premium stasis capsule for you aboard the Church's Holy Fleet. Congratulations. Your generous donations over the years have already covered all post-mortem stasis and cryopreservation fees. While I cannot guarantee which arc will safeguard your physical body, 
All fleet vessels are designed for centuries of deep space operation and equipped with state-of-the-art defense technology, ensuring that convergence will proceed without interference when the holy hour approaches. I must reiterate that this birth is conditional upon the successful completion of your pilgrimage. Once the market is safely delivered into church hands and all electronic records have been appropriately amended, I will be pleased to finalize your resting place amongst the church's most blessed, including Oldsman himself. Praised be the marker and its prophets, Phoebe Tremaine, Sanctified Messenger, Fleet Selection and Security, Church of Unitology. All correspondence to and from this individual is monitored. Disclosure of any information in this message to heretical parties is strictly forbidden and punishable by seizure of property and or excommunication. You have no idea how many takes that last part took. But yeah, the captain has lost it. He's also got a needle in his eye, but that's kind of irrelevant. Uh, I think I will stomp these dudes. Another text log. Oh god. Planetary Mining and Investor's Guide. CEC Shareholder Pamphlet 202. Please do not distribute. What is Planet Cracking? Planet Cracking is, quite literally, the dismantling of planets and moons on a macro scale by dedicated vessels known as Planet Crackers. Entire worlds are fractured with gravity tethers to reveal the rich seams of valuable minerals contained inside. These fractured pieces of debris are mined, processed, and then shipped to their destination. You may have read environmentalist reports claiming the destruction of a planet can destroy an entire solar system due to the disruption in the gravitation forces that hold each celestial object in orbit. Some of the wilder claims claim this causes the whole system to spin out of control or planets to smash into each other. We would direct concerned investors to the article Safe and Sustainable CEC's Pledge to the Health of Our Galaxy for a detailed breakdown of the truths about planet cracking. The short answer is planet cracking is perfectly safe and provides an essential service to Earth and the colonies. Yeah, this is way, way, way too real, isn't it? Ah, uh, this is a huge log. Holy shit. Alright, please skip ahead about five minutes because this is going to take a while. Out of over three dozen planet cracks, only one operation has met with less than optimal results. Critics often cite the Wanat disaster 11 years ago, wherein a planet cracker, three supply ships, and a colony were lost due to a gravity tether failure. They rarely mention that since that time, CEC has strengthened relationships with our manufacturers, committed to regular crew training seminars, and implemented safety protocols to ensure a disaster of that magnitude can never happen again. Before each planet crack, the candidate worlds are carefully chosen for their mineral content, net worth, and the safety with which they can be dismantled. Planet crackers are also invaluable for harvesting asteroids and rogue planetoids, which presents a deadly risk to expensive infrastructure and installations. Planet Cracking, a detailed breakdown. Planet Cracking is a lengthy process typically spanning from three to five years. Generally, the first year is spent prospecting and setting up the planet site colony. To minimize losses, these colonies are intentionally a light outlay in terms of infrastructure. The next 18 months involve tectonic excavation, gravity tether maintenance, and related planet-side activities. The planet cracker arrives between the 2.5 and 3 year mark, depending on the progress of excavation. Once the ship is in orbit, preparation for tectonic chunk extraction begins. This takes approximately one week. That is very short compared to three years. The removal of an excavated chunk from the planet into a stabilized geosynchronous orbit usually takes about one day, 24 standard hours. I'm not sure why it is relevant to say that. During this process, billions of tons of debris break off from the underside of the chunk, creating an instant asteroid ring around a planet. While deflating debris is extremely dangerous, planet cracker ships have an excellent asteroid defense system, ADS, to keep the ship and crew safe from harm, when it's calibrated properly. For more information on our proprietary ADS technology, see accompanying literature. 
This process is repeated until the entire planetary body has been broken up and processed. Smaller bodies, such as asteroids, are drawn into the mining bays and processed directly, using direct processing beams to reduce waste. As you can see, the profit margins of planet cracking vastly outweigh solely planet-side operations, which may not be profitable for decades or more, and represent massive outlays in terms of personnel, infrastructure, equipment, and insurance costs. So basically, instead of mining like us plebs do on Earth in 2023 right now, they just pull the planet apart to get to it quicker. I can't imagine that's sustainable in any way, shape, or form. About us, CEC Concordance Extraction Corporation is the largest solar mining and extraction company in the Earth colonies, and the fifth largest interstellar company in terms of market capital. Since our founding, we have become a powerhouse of industrial might and a major cross-system employer. With a generous budget allocated to election spending, CEC has always been able to maintain a strong market position and secure political support thanks to our dedicated lobbying bureau. Yeah, I can understand why this document is confidential. CEC owns over 400 deep space vessels, including five planet crackers, with the famous USG Ishimura as our flagship. CEC pioneered the scan and catch technique, which is now a staple of asteroid mining, and was the first to implement shock point drives for commercial use. We are the largest supplier of precious metals to commercial interests across inhabited space. We take your financial security and the well-being of our employees seriously. When you invest in CEC, you are investing in a future we can all believe in. CEC, powering humanity into the future. And now most of the investors are probably dead. Fuck, that was an ordeal. That was an ordeal. I see dead bodies there with plastic bags around their heads. I assume the worst. First Officer D. White. I don't remember your name. Right, well, it looks like this guy wasn't a complete nutter. Oh, no. Yeah, I remember this log as well from the original. Personal log, D. White's first officer. Goddamn unis are running the ship. So far, I know for sure. Matthias, Kine, Mercer. And then I don't recognize any of the following names. Holt, Carrillo, Pitts, Rud, Rudder, don't know. Maynard, Shandy, Expelita Natividad. That many senior officers just happen to be marker heads? Can't be coincidence. I know a stack deck when I see one. Update. Check some files. A lot of those reassignments started after Director Eckhart got chassis with the captain. Eckhart's name again. Since when does the C-suite give a damn about personnel? Hmm... I wonder if Eckhart was the person who sent the massive log to the captain. Selling him his passage on the Ark would be secured and whatnot. Uh, chick. Don't recognize you. The Holt, we can't get in there. I imagine this place is going to lead to a keycard. And a tentacle. And then we can come back in here. That was an ordeal chat. My throat is hurting. Where are you? Where? Well, that was quick. Um, is this really just a bathroom? I don't know. I reckon the bathroom downstairs was nicer. This one's just weird. I imagine we're going to get ambushed by the Hunter again. Potentially out here. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. 
I knew it. Not sure what happened there. I can take damage from my own firewall. Great. Up oh, there's the infector. Not good, not good. Alright, anyone still alive? Oh god. Gotta hit the arms on you. That was a mess. I was expecting it, and yeah, didn't end well. I would like to try and get a reload of the flamethrower at the bench if I can, but if not, I have plenty of ammo. Halt. We know you're a unitologist. Master override. Damn it. Only 3,000 credits, really. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> that actually shocked me. Alright, that's going to unlock the room next door. Alright, I didn't recognize Chick's name as being on that list, but clearly they had some issues as well. One or two. I think that's everything, but it's an all-important power node. Alright, so at this point, what are we doing? We're heading back to the Chief Steward's office. That must be on the other side of the shuttle bay here, or the central nexus. It's directly ahead. Maybe? Yep, there we go. Alright, what don't I need? I can drop one of these stasis. I have a lot of small med kits, holy crap. And a lot of semiconductors. Got to get back to a bench so we can install that. I have three nodes. Let's burn a couple of those med kits, but I've got plenty of ammunition now. Got a lot of these rods around here, so I suspect we're going to get attacked once we've done whatever it is that we need to do inside this room. Take a shot. Isaac's questioning it.
And they pro the they proceeded with Planet Crack. She's dead. She's been dead for a long time. You want me to go back out there? Thank you, Mr. Clark. For helping me fix my mistakes. We're walking into the maintenance hall. We can't get through there. I imagine... No, okay, just... Whatever. I imagine that door is locked. The one that he just walked through, I won't be able to follow him. Not easily. No, never mind. I'm talking bullshit. We can follow him there. But we're being told to turn around. Oh, of course, because we have to destroy that thing and then we can do something in the um, central nexus. Okay, fine. We have cleared the way to the shuttle, which gives us a new objective. Kine says we need to return the market to Aegis 7 to stop this outbreak. He might be a unitologist, but I think he's trustworthy. I need to get the marker before Mercer stops me. Oh boy. Settle in. Nexus Organism. She was only a voice at first, but now she is my constant companion again. I had forgotten how much her presence soothes me. And as always, she sees to the heart of the problem. The marker must be returned. Perhaps there's been some kind of accident. Some severance? Do the marker and the hive mind always coordinate? Or can the hive mind slip the marker's influence somehow? Regardless, if this theory is correct, if the two are now at odds, if the marker can quell the hive mind, it would cut the puppeteer's strings at a stroke. It seems obvious in retrospect. These necromorphs have no intelligence. How could they? Yet there's clear, if rudimentary, purpose behind their actions, especially the gathering of corpses. They're clearly following some drive to kill living organisms and gather biomass. But where does this drive come from? How does it command them? Do all necromorphs converted by a marker share this bond? Hack instinct? Or is the hive mind demonstrating a genuine telepathic communication? Perhaps the first ever observed? How painful to admit that the marker's horrors still hold a fascination for me. Now I think I understand my predecessors, those who first studied the black marker rather better. The road to hell begins with unprincipled curiosity. Foolish, foolish, foolish. I should have known sabotaging the engines was only a stopgap. There we go, it was kind. Are we returning to Earth? Is the marker falling back into the church's hands? Yes, Amelia. There are always alternate solutions. Always. He's lost it, but he's clearly on our side. Uh, up ahead is a dead end. Where did he go? And uh, why have you been doing this? I assume he must have gone through there. Alright, bench. Give me my power node. Alright, flamethrower capacity please. Ooh, what is that? 
Oh, we need that. We need that. I'm prepared to blow three to get that right now. And it's not great, great, but it'll do. Uh, what about this one here? We have the gravity well. And... Uh, neither of those are terribly helpful. Um, so plasma cut is good. What about the contact beam? Should I start upgrading this? I think I will. I think I will. We're out of nodes, but it's fine. I can purchase more. We should never have brought it on board. Well, at least kind... Well, he's insane, but at least he seems remorseful and he wants to try and fix his problems, even if he's being influenced by something to do so. Might as well load that. Damn, the marker is here. It was in a completely different spot in the original. Where? Force gun time. Can't see shit. And the frame rate is tanking. Okay, gotta hit you in the arms. No, wrong weapon. Not see what just hit me, but okay. We're good. Quarantine lifted. I really should just be using stasis more, shouldn't I? Makes everything so much easier. Burn through a lot of plasma ammo to do that. I'll see if I can get a free reload. The flamethrower and the force gun are serving me well. Is this actually damaging me? I don't see the rig changing. Oh, I missed that one. Oh. I will put that one um, again as text once I've translated it. Ah, you have it. Now install the singularity core on the shuttle. I'll come help you load the marker. Damn, Mercer's close. Hurry. Damn, I'm annoyed I missed that one. Don't know if I can read that one though. All right, fine. I'll translate it and then put it in. That was quick. Another power node. I mean, the presence of these things sort of give away that we're in for a battle ahead. This area looks terribly familiar. Terribly and unfortunately familiar.
I've got to go inside the shuttle to install the singularity core. But right now, I just want to clean this area out. You okay there, Isaac? Stasis, that's what I was looking for. Okay. We can't get in there just yet. The shuttle bay controls. Warning, no fly order. Yeah, how did that work out for you? How did this thing even get on the ship if there was a no fly order in place? We've reached the shuttle. I have the marker, and Mercer's still distracted. After I install the singularity core on the shuttle, I can load the marker on board. Once I've looted the place. Uh, I think the Killian looked a bit more flash than this. This seems more cramped. Singularity cores installed. A rush job, but it'll work. Once I test fire the engines, the install will be complete. Sound like something growling. Alright, let's test fire. And now we have to kill the hunter. It actually says kill. Kill Brant Harris. Oh god. Alright, clearly we've got some problems. Can I read the objective, please? Mercer's Hunter is back. I'm not risking our last shuttle out of here. There has to be a way to stop it for good. There absolutely is. Oh god. Dude, let me through. Yeah, it involves stasising it here, and then firing the engine, but I've got other problems to deal with first. Oh my god, no. So many decades. Jesus, you got some range on that thing, buddy. No good. But that's the gist of it. More. Just melts in front of me. It looks great. Alright, Hunter's there. Let's try this again, shall we? I think there might be someone behind me, though.
I mean, I'm sure it's dead for reals, but how does Isaac know that? Also, I'm curious to know... Never mind. Mercer. Take a shot. game. Jesus, this is bad. This is really bad. We've been dragged. Do you read me? Mr. Clark. Mr. Clark, come in. Fuck this ship. <laughs> Fuck To internal systems. The marker just ripped right through the ship. Something pulled it down to the cargo bay. Kind, pilot the shuttle to the hangar. I'm going after the marker. Of course. Amelia, quickly. Wait, Dr. Kine. That guy's lost it. He killed the captain. We can't trust him near the marker. He's the only one with the plan. Is the only way to end this. We've got to try. I'm heading to cargo. You paint the coal's rig and tell her where to go. Leave it to me. Thanks. When I get the marker. We're all getting out of here. That's a massive change.